Hey everyone, it's Natalia and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new. Hey, if you are new. For today's video, I'm going to show how to create this Aquaman inspired jade necklace. So let's get started. To make this charm, you need some polymer clay and the color that I recommend using is a translucent polymer clay. I'm actually using a white translucent polymer clay for today's video, but any translucent clay will work really good with this project just because it'll make the finished result look more realistic. The first thing you want to do is mix some green clay with some translucent clay. Once you're done mixing that mixture, now it's time to make the clay piece. You're going to need a little bit of green polymer clay, a lot of translucent clay, and also that mixture. And to get that nice marbled effect, all you want to do is roll all your clays out together and just twist them all together. But you don't want to mix too much because if you mix too much, your whole clay will be one whole color. So you just want to mix it just until you get that nice marbled effect that you are going for. And once you have your clay mixed the way you would like it to look, the next thing you want to do is roll your clay out into a log. And then you just want to flatten your log out using your fingers. And just use your fingers as well to smooth out all the rough edges. And once you're done doing that, you want to use a needle tool or a toothpick to make an indent on the top part of the clay piece. Then I also use my needle tool to make a hole on the top part of the piece as well to make it into a pendant. And once you're done doing that, you could clean your clay piece if you would like to. I'm using some nail polish remover and a condom ball. You could also use some rubbing alcohol as well. But once you're done doing that, you just want to bake it according to your clay pack instructions and make sure your oven is preheated. Once it's out of the oven and all cool down, an optional thing you can do is glaze your piece, but I do recommend doing this. The next thing I did was use my hot glue gun to glue my black leather cord into the indent that we made. And you just want to wrap this cord around your pendant, and then once you're done wrapping it, you just want to cut off all the excess and just glue the excess onto the, your pendant as well. For the necklace, you just want to cut more of the cord and just fold it in half and just place this loop into the hole of our pendant. Then you want to get the end of your necklace and place it through that hole to create a knot. And to create this into a necklace, you're going to need two jump rings, two necklace crimps, and one lobster clasp. So the first thing you want to do is place your necklace crimp on the end of your leather cord and just use your pliers to crimp it down onto the end of the necklace. And you want to repeat this to the other side of your necklace. Then I added one more knot on top of the knot we already made earlier, just so that it's more secured. And then what you want to do is use your pliers to open one jump ring and place this on one side of your necklace and just close the jump ring. And for the other side of the necklace, you want to open one jump ring and place a lobster clasp into that jump ring and then just close it using your pliers. I really hope you all enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And also, if you have not, and if you'd like to, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more crafty videos like this one. But anyways, I hope you all have a the rest of your day. God bless you, and bye!